You're watching WGN Morning News at 6. Marcella said we're celebrating the Day of the Dead this morning. Hey, Marcella. Hey, good morning. And I'm telling you, if you're not going to wake up with all of this activity going on, I don't know what you're going to do today because you are just, uh, just comatose, I guess I could say. We've got a great Mexican folklore dance, folklore dance company. We've got a mariachi band. And we have kids from Bartolome de la Casa School. And Andrea, you guys are doing a run this weekend. Tell me a little bit about it. It's going to be so much fun, you know? Okay. There's going to be a lot of people over, thousands of families, you know? It's going to be so much fun. Just hope to see you all there, you know? And this is your first race of the dead, right? Yeah, it's going to be the first one. Okay, so Day of the Dead is not a scary thing for you today. No. It's going to be, like, for people who passed away, you know? Okay. We're just here to celebrate it. Okay, fabulous. All right, we're going to learn a little bit more about what's going on this weekend and what's going on here at the school today. We'll go up in just a couple of minutes. Good to you guys. And coming up next, Marcella's around town at a Day of the Dead celebration. Marcella's in Pilsen celebrating the Day of the Dead. This is a celebration day, right, Marcella? It is. Yeah. You know what? It's a day where um, Latinos celebrate uh, people who have passed away. They celebrate their life, their death, they celebrate all of that, they remember them and everything like that. It's a good celebration. It's not a scary celebration. And Juan, you are with UNO because this year, this is your first year, right, that you're doing something a little different. This is kind of an interesting way of celebrating Day of the Dead. Well, we want to encourage our kids to learn about their culture and their tradition and what better way to run through Pilsen and make it a, a grand day for everybody. And that's it. You're doing a 5K race. We're doing a 5K race this Saturday. We're billing it as a Carrera de los Muertos, Race for the Dead, and it's going to be very exciting to go through Pilsen. And where do all the proceeds go? What, what's the um, what's the deal with that? Well, this will be a fundraiser for our schools. It's gonna the proceeds go directly to our children, our programs, pay for soccer and everything else, uniforms, and a lot of our programs at the schools. And tell me about the school because they are really getting into this. Well, our, this is one of our schools. It's one of six schools that Uno manages under its charter school network. It's the Bartolomé de las Casas here in the Pilsen community. The kids love it. It's an exciting day. And I think it's a way to get kids involved in their culture as well, learn a little bit about their history as well. And Day of the Dead has been something that has been celebrated in your culture for years. This is a big tradition in the Mexican community. I think it's important for them to not only remember the dead family members and all that, but really enjoy life. And I think that's what Day of the Dead is. It's a celebration of life. Okay, now I have to go talk to this guy over here. Uh, Mary, I I'm not quite sure who you are, but I'm supposed to talk to you, and you look really scary. Well, I'm trying not to be scary. I'm one of the Mexican wrestlers. <laughs> so what does that mean? That means this is the Lucha Libre. This is the Mexican wrestling tradition. They wear masks and costumes. Okay. That's a popular getup for the holidays. Where are your tights? Uh, not on camera. Not I was on told camera? no tights on camera. Are they under your pants? Yes, they are. Can you take them off? Uh, not right now. Okay. <laughs> All right, maybe later. We'll talk maybe about later. that later. All right, here's more on the 5K race. You can do it this weekend. Let's show you a screen Saturday at 8. You went through the Pilsen neighborhood, and all the money goes for a fabulous cause. So coming up in the 8 o'clock hour, we're just going to do more of the same. I mean, why not? This is a great way to start your day, right? Back to you guys. I got my hat on. I'm all ready. Asking men to take their pants off. Just another yeah. day. <laughs> just another day in Marcella's <laughs> life. Hat on, pants off. <laughs> Thanks, Marcella. Marcella is out celebrating the Day of the Dead. Hi, Marcella. Hey, good morning. We're in Pilsen celebrating the Day of the Dead. I have Sonia here who has prepared a speech for us, and she's going to give us just a little bit of it about the altar for the dead. And this is something that they do every November 1st on the Day of the Dead celebration. And tell me, tell me what exactly this altar is about. It means that the Day of the Dead, everybody... The relatives of the people who died put some of the pictures on the altar, and they be celebrating the people that died. And they do this at home, too. A lot of people do it at home with candles and pictures, and they make little um, like figurines and things like that, don't they? Yes, they do. Okay, so you made what? The bread? Can I eat that? Yes. I can eat that bread? Oh, look at this. This is fat. Okay, we're going to talk a little bit more about the Day of the Dead and the race of the dead. You don't want to hear about it. Mariachi band, awesome. Coming up in just a few minutes. Back to you guys. And Marcella's live in Pilsen. They're celebrating Day of the Dead. We'll check in with her in a minute.
Marcel is hey. at an... Oh, hey. Hey, Marcel. Tip of hat. Hello. Tip of my hat to you there, Robin and Larry. Mm -hmm. um, we are at Bartolome de la Casa School in Wilson, where they're celebrating Day of the Dead, and then they've got this Race of the Dead coming up this weekend that they want to tell us about. But I love this because this is just... This has been a fabulous morning. We've got the mariachi band. We've got the folkloric dancers. We've got the soccer team. We got the kids at the charter school all dressed up. We got the altar for the dead. We're, we're having fun here today, Why? It's a great day today. We're yeah. celebrating life. And tell me about Day of the Dead just real quick. Day of the Dead is a rich tradition in the Mexican culture and where we celebrate life. We celebrate those that have departed. And really, really, it's a, it's a great tradition to try to continue and have the children uh, learn more about their, their rich tradition. And not be sad and not be scared. It'd be, it'd be a positive experience. And people ha have lived very uh, good lives, and I think it's something that we ought to be celebrating instead of being somber about it. And I think right. what we're trying to just uh, inculcate that in our children uh, so they can continue the tradition. And Uno is doing their first... 5K race this weekend. First 5K race, we're naming it the Carrera de los Muertos, Race of the Dead, running through Pilsen. And so it's a great opportunity for everybody to uh, be a part of our tradition, part of our culture as well. And it's a big fundraiser for you, isn't it? It's our first fundraiser. It's a 5K uh, fundraiser uh, where kids are going to be running. And this is uh, all proceeds will be going to our schools and to help support our children in our charter schools. Okay, fabulous. You've got five schools, don't you? We have five schools across the city, and they're all going to be a part of it. We're going to have several thousand people here. Well, thank you so much. Uh, here's a little bit of information. Let me show you about the 5K race coming up on Saturday. But then I need to get some tips from these guys. Marty, come here for a second. Okay, so tell me how you do the, the little the headbutt in the soccer. Oh, uh, like when they throw the ball at you, okay. um, you need to put your head forward. Okay. For all, right. all right, just show me, real, show me how to do it real fast. Okay, all right, I'm going to try it. What do you think? All right, let's see if I can do this. All right, ready? Okay. Give me it one more time. Head and butt. That's the way to do it. Back to you guys. Thanks, Marcel. Thanks, Marcel. Coming up, Britney Spears speaks out about her.